Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So this video is a highly requested video. A lot of people was actually telling me to do a video on preparing the resume or the tips to prepare an electronics engineer's resume for freshers post. Okay, so whenever you are uh, starting to search your job, whether you belong to EC branch or triple branch or civil or mechanical branch, you all require a resume, right? So the first thing we actually do when we start to search job is actually preparing the resume. So in this video, we'll be seeing what all things you can include if you're an electronics engineer in your resume. Okay, so before going into the tips to prepare an electronics engineer's resume, I want to tell you something that while making a resume, you should uh, keep this thing in mind that the resume is not a place where you can write all the paragraphs or uh, the paragraphs and paragraphs about your project or seminar or anything. This resume should be very short it should be very precise and it should be very effective and you cannot make a resume which is very large or with lots of pages resume should have maximum up to two pages so it should be very precise and it should be very effective so that is the first thing you have to keep in mind when you are going to prepare a resume for the first time okay so we all make this mistake of uh, making a large or a big document which has a lot of paragraphs but that is not a correct way of doing it okay so when you are preparing a resume for the first time as a fresher, you should always keep this thing in mind that it should be very short and it should be precise and it has to be very effective also. So this resume is something which reflects about all your skills and all your knowledges and achievements and your technical knowledge. All these things should be included, but at the same time, it, it has to be very precise. The first thing I would like to give uh, importance to or I would like to emphasize is the technical skills. Okay, so as electronics engineers, we have studied a lot of uh, softwares or IDs in our labs and also while doing the mini project and the main project, we have done a lot of uh, softwares. We have experience working with the softwares and also various programming languages like uh, LabVIEW or uh, VHDL or C, C++, Java, C, these type of programming languages. If you have experience in working with, you can give all these details in the technical skills session. Okay, so the technical skill session is very important. Uh, when the interviewer is going through your resume, he will look into this session and he will he will know that you have practical experience in these areas. You have worked with these softwares, these programming languages, and also you if you have worked uh, with various operating systems like uh, Linux or Ubuntu or various Windows operating system, you can uh, write all those details in the technical skill session. Okay, so that is the first area I would like to emphasize. And also the next thing is certifications. Consider that if you have done Oracle certification or Java certification or, or any of the certifications, you have to mention the certification, exactly the name of the certification and also the score you have obtained. So this is also very important. Okay, so that is the next thing, which is the certification. So after certifications, the most important thing you have to emphasize on is trainings. Consider that you have done one day training in Android or one day training in uh, some companies or some organizations or you have uh, done two, three week trainings. All these things you can include in the training session or consider that uh, other than that, this training, other than this training, you have done some internships for three to four months while doing your project. You have done an internship along with it. You can include that before the training. Okay, so these Trainings and internships are also very, very important. Again, these are emphasizing on your practical knowledge. You have worked with uh, some organizations while doing uh, internship or uh, while doing the training, you have a practical knowledge uh, with the company. So that is a very important thing. Okay. So the trainings and the internships are very important areas in your resume. After the trainings and uh, the internships, I would like to give stress on to the conferences attended and also the papers published. Before the conferences, you can give stress to the papers published. Uh, some companies doesn't really uh, look into these papers and conferences, but some companies will look into this session also. So the papers you have published is your identity. So you can mention about the papers you have published. I would uh, like to suggest you that you could mention the title of your paper and also the journal into which the paper is being published and the issue of the journal also. Not more than that. You don't need to uh, write details about your paper published or the abstract of the paper published need not to be mentioned because if the interviewer is asking you, then you can tell about your paper. Okay, so that is 
sufficient or that is enough then also the conferences which you have attended you can mention in your resume also i would uh, suggest you to only mention the name of the conference and the place not more than that okay you don't need to write a lot of things about the conference attended and also the papers published so these are the next two areas next is a session for seminar so uh, while mentioning the seminar we all have taken seminars during our academic year right so while uh, mentioning about the seminar my suggestion is that you need to only write only the title of the seminar because seminar is something theoretical you are just studying a topic and you are presenting and you are making a, a report of it right so there is not much practical knowledge in taking a seminar so while writing about your seminar you only need to write the title of your seminar and if the interviewer is interested while going through your resume he would ask about the seminar topic and then only you need to mention you don't need to write an abstract or anything about the seminar just write the seminar title that is enough okay next i would like to talk about uh, the project details in your resume so uh, in engineering we have done two projects mainly mini project and also main project so you have to mention these two projects that is mini project and also main project but while uh, writing the project details you have to write the project title and below that you have to write that i have done this project using these all softwares while using these languages and i have also used this processor this ics i have used all these technical things you have to mention rather than going on writing about the working of the project you have to give emphasis to the technical things which you have learned while doing the project okay so that is more good to uh, write about your project okay so you have to mention your project name below that you will be uh, describing about all the things which you have learned the softwares the ids the the languages the processors you have used and the ics which you have used all these things try to describe in that session for the main project and also for the mini project okay so these are the most important things you have to include in the resume if you are a fresher because you, you don't have any experience so you have to emphasize give emphasis to these things the project details the conferences the trainings the technical skills all these things you have to give more importance to and when the interviewer is going through the resume he should know that you have these all practical skills and you are ready to join the organization or the company that is you fit into that company okay so all the interviewers will be interested in knowing about your technical knowledge and your practical knowledge rather than the things which you study okay so these are the tips which i want to share with you when you are preparing a resume for a freshers post if you are an electronics engineer okay so it is uh, same as for the all other branches just the differences or the variations is only the programming languages or in the uh, softwares and all that the contents are all same for all the branches okay so these are the tips i want to share with you and also i want to mention that when you are uh, describing your personal details try to include your hobbies your positives and negatives that is maximum and also if you want to mention the address i would not really force you to write but if you want you can but not more than that you don't need to write your family members details or names or anything just very so make your personal details in the resume as short as possible because the interviewer won't be really interested in knowing all these details okay so these are the tips i want to share with you if you are a fresher and if you want to prepare a resume please take care of these things and please try to include these areas and these things in your resume and try to give more importance to them okay so i am really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching